Hmm. Morning everybody, uh, Mission Nationwide here. Doing the morning vlog. Yeah, so it's been since Saturday since I made a video. Well, actually you got to upload it on Sunday. Yeah, bowling. So anyway, uh, things should just a little bit different. You know, you saw my other video that I played pool for a friend of mine, Lock Loaded, Johnny B, and uh, he beat me. So, you know, I learned how to play pool, so I had to get back out there to practice. Yeah, hopefully I get there on Monday night, which is not many people, and I can just practice the game by myself. Maybe a couple of rounds of that, and then I get good at it. And then I'll play against somebody. And I'll most likely beat them. And then bowling wasn't so bad, you know, it's been five years since I've been bowling, and then I got to beat uh, Storm Maverick fair and square in the bowling game. And he didn't do so well in bowling. Yeah. But then some other things, uh, let's see. DJ Elroy might be, well, his back, but he might be with us uh, next, wasn't that, on karaoke night. I mean, Storm Maverick, so we're going to have a video of him in there and stuff, because it's been, been a year since he's been with us, uh, on the YouTube video when we were coming back from Dave and Buster's. Yeah, so right now I'm on the way to the bank just to go to the ATM machine to draw a little bit of money. It's payday. And then get some gas. <coughs> and then I had to come back and do some other things and then probably go get the truck wash. Yeah, because I, you know, I've been trail riding, you know, through the mud, so, yeah, you know, I need to get some, some wood and everything. I just got done splitting wood, too. It's a lot of yeah, so I just load up some wood in my cargo bag and the roof rack and then just load that on there and stuff. So it didn't do too bad. Yeah, most likely today I'll probably get that impact wrench and uh, air ratchet today that uh, they need it. Hopefully it's still sticks nine 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 and pit boys when we go there. Yeah. Oh things is a little bit different, you know, and stuff. You got a twenty five dollar gift card uh, from Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, I got some girl's number from last week, but uh, kind of hoping maybe she'll accept the, the offer. I'll just say it's for my job, which it is, but you know, it's probably not a way to get it if you can. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, things are just still the same with Elk Yukon. Uh, I found a really good deal on tires. It was the, the 285, 75, 16. So, uh, I think in my opinion it might be uh, probably 33 inch tall tires. I don't know, but I guess I could put in the 16 by 8. Uh, uh, yeah, 16 by 8 uh, Pro Comp Alloys 7089 series. Yeah, they're black and they got six spokes and nice center cap and stuff. Yeah, six spokes so you can see the brakes and the extra cool the brakes. In accordance to the better stopping, you know, once, once your brakes are cool. And I think they're a bit, a little bit wider than these E71 wheels I got. But then I'm thinking, well, and, you know, I won't have enough get gap corners. So I'm thinking I probably had to swap in my two inch leveling kit to a three inch leveling kit. Huh. Well, it seems to me this radar taker picks up a, a cop somewhere. So I'm gonna turn the volume down. Yeah, it gets annoying when it's getting louder and louder. So anyway, we're crossing over uh, Timber Drive in uh, well, on Woodland Street, Woodland Road. Yeah, so it's really picking up a signal. And then another crazy thing going over to Clayton, like on the way to Bowling. Uh, okay, me and Storm Maverick passed, passed by a house, and there was a, it was on fire. We thought maybe the house was burning. So, and then I saw that the fire, the Clayton Fire Department was like right by there. So then we drove over there to see what's going on. Just uh, see if the local, I mean, any of the firemen can help, but there was nobody there. And then I was, I was going to film a video about it, and all of a sudden the uh, uh, division chief came from Battalion 2, I think. And uh, talked about that, and he said uh, that there was a church that just uh, donated, you know, a house, you know, to practice uh, putting out the fire for the rookies. Yeah. Not just a guy I know, I know you can't. Anyways, uh, so he said they were practicing, you know, just sort of like the farm, the farm cars of candy and stuff. And like, I, I didn't even know, I mean, because I was thinking, I wonder why there was such a dense fog area. I mean, a dense smoke area. Yeah. Because I, I was thinking, sort of, I said he, you know, he said he smelled smoke somewhere. Yeah. And I thought I 
liked it too. Uh, that's a, you know, because I was just hoping it was a truck and it wasn't. But I mean, it's kind of crazy, you know, something you never seen every day. And then uh, I don't know, Storm Mayor keeps on saying something about a Clayton police officer leaving the door open in his squad car. I told him several times. I said he's inside his car, his laptop, checking something. Yeah, like what in the hell? And, you know. And then finally, he just realized that. Yeah. So anyways, winter, winter time is, well, winter time is here, but it's a little bit colder than usual, but we haven't had snow yet. So most likely in the state, like if it's going to be raining a lot this time of year, most likely next month will be snowing at least three times. Just like last year. So I got to get that four drive system working with the transfer key shifter. I mean the, the shift motor, shift motor. Yeah. I mean the truck isn't real stubborn to start up really. You know, I just need to get that oxygen sensor replaced too, so the service engine soon might won't be staying on all the time. And then I'll get dual exhaust next month hopefully. It'll be a Christmas present for this truck, but a little bit late. <laughs> yeah, because the beginning of, well first of next month I had to pay rent though, but the week after the pay period after that, you know, that you know there's no bills. Just my phone, which is thirty-five dollars, but you know, he's asked for dual exhaust. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. I couldn't do that with Sam's Club last year because you know, to buy a weekly paycheck, it's like you're getting paid twice a month. You know, one pay period, I had to pay rent, and then the phone, and then the, you know, the gym membership, and then uh, the broke, and then the next one was uh, well, actually, I had two cars though, but you know, was that. That main truck and then that Chrysler. So all to get with insurance was sixty five dollars, but that, that was a lot too. And some other things, you know, I had to pay at, at that phone or something. Yeah, so you know, I cut down on the bills though. That'll make a little bit more money, but you know, I was thinking change my insurance company because uh, they increased because uh, I had to because I ran a stop sign. Usually, I mean, in an area with you know, stop sign like it's a three-way stop the stop sign is like right here in the opposite direction has a stop sign but this side doesn't the other side doesn't and that's a dead-end street so I don't know what's the point of having a stop sign right there for a dead-end street if nobody's coming there instead of switching the other way around we're just the stop sign on that side of the road and then no stop signs on either side because who's going to come from a dead-end road really real fast doesn't make any sense the dead-end road at the end you know it makes a good off-road trail and there's another trail up there. Yeah. Well, just further down from, you know, that stop sign where it got pulled at. You know, further down, it's not even a, well, not even a mile even, but I found another trail. It was just behind, there was like a fence with, you know, backyards and houses and stuff. So I just went through that. Nope, nobody cut, I mean, nobody saw me. Yeah, I guess everybody was at work though, but, you know, it was pretty cool. You know, I was doing that two wheel drive uh, trail riding through there. Yeah, and then especially yesterday, you know. But last night, me and Storm Man were talking about some other stuff. And, you know, like, uh, you know, just getting out, you know, dropping off at his house. You know, all of a sudden the wheels are spinning in the truck. Like, oh, no, I only had that four-wheel drive system working. What the fuck? And then, you know, I try to call him the hill, you know, spinning the wheels. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to dig myself even deeper. Luckily, the curb is, like, not that far off to my side. So what I did, I just uh, backed up slowly and just turned the wheel, and hopefully the truck was able to roll back without using the gas, and then just go back on the pavement, and I wasn't stuck. But man, that was just scary. I thought maybe in that mini truck of mine last year I'd get stuck, because I got stuck in the mud twice. I almost got stuck in the snow. Going down an icy hill, oh man, I was sliding. I was scared though, but I didn't hit, luckily there was no cars in front of me, thank goodness. Yeah, because I already, I already ruined the bump by hitting something, man. I don't want to ruin it even worse. Yeah. So anyway, I just pulled up to the bank and then I was going to the gas station after that. Yeah. Let's see what kind of stuff is going on over in Walmart. So they have for sale and stuff. So anyway, folks, that's uh, about it on the um, morning vlog for today. So, you know, it's good catching up with you guys and uh, subscribe to my channel and everything. I get more subscribers uh, for the new year, you know, for my New Year's resolution. 
and owner of my Dangerous and Slow Evolution is getting this truck offer ready and uh, building a motorized launch here. It's late to have one puglife.com, but you know, I don't know how well, so what I'm gonna do is buy a go kart. You know, the battery has the engine, the wheels, suspension, steering, and just put like the seat over the engine and then leafing the steering column and different things. And then maybe in a few years, I'll be able to go to Inwood Interior to uh, go on, you know, the 710 Speedway there and, you know, challenge them. But, you know, if uh, probably us or Buddy Van Doo was up there watching this, you know, that, you know, I'm just hoping one of you guys, you know, make your own or whatever. I mean, that sample wasn't bad, and one, the one you guys were driving, that was cool. So anyway, you guys, uh, that's, that's about it. Later.